E.T. is regarded to be one of the worst games of all time, and I can see why. After doing some research and looking at the game itself, I concluded that this, is, that this shit absolutely sucks. Anyway, to keep my earthquake level headache down, I'm sp splitting this vid up into a few sections, not only to ease my suffering, but yours as well. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gents, because this is a retrospective review on E.T. the video game. Fuck, I'm not ready for this shit, man. Let's set the stage. The year is 1982, and one of the biggest and most successful movies, E.T., comes out. The failing and most likely on the verge of total bankruptcy Atari sees this as an opportunity to capitalize on a box office hit. And wouldn't you know it, Christmas is only a couple of months away. And since negotiations ended and a deal was reached in late July, that would give the poor sap who was making the game just a few months to develop and complete it. Man, I would hate to be them. Oh, wait. We are them. Fuck. Our name is Howard Warshaw. Warshaw, and we've made a name for ourselves within the company for not only having worked with them for over a year, but also putting out two successful games. Unfortunately, we've been handed the arbitrary task of putting together a movie game with only a three-person team in a few months. What could possibly go wrong? Where the fuck do I even begin here? Like seriously, taking a look at the game itself tells you pretty much everything. To be fair, this was released back in 1982, but you can literally compare it to Raiders of the Lost Ark and, and tell that the movements are stiff and jagged. Also, the sound effects in this game are so god awful it makes you want to jump out of a four story building just to make it all stop. The objective of the game is to collect three pieces of a telephone so you can phone home. Get it? No? Me either. And neither does this game, as all you do is go down one pit after another looking for the pieces at random. The game doesn't give you any sense of direction, clues, or any other indication that you're going the right way. It just it's just falling down a hole and hoping for the best. And that's pretty much it in terms of gameplay. While there are other elements like Elliot helping you and the government slash FBI being obstacles, they feel like needless fluff in a bare bone game. So after hearing all of that, where do we go from here? After the game was released, was it any surprise that it naturally flopped? So much so that Atari dumped it in a New Mexico landfill and covered it in cement. Kind of symbolic of the fact that they probably wanted to bury the game and hoped it wouldn't resurface, never to see the light of day again, until some people dug it up. Oh well, I guess. It wasn't long after this that the now famous video game crash occurred. I won't go into a history lesson here, but basically it was like a mini Great Depression, with the gaming industry losing money as people were interested in PC, since the internet was starting to be a thing. The reason I bring this up is because E.T. is regarded as being a major player in the cause of that, as well as killing Atari. While I agree that E.T. didn't help, I don't think it was the sole reason Atari died. Here's why. Competition was just around the corner, and even if Atari didn't release a game, eventually Nintendo would have overtaken them, since they offered better quality games. I mean, look at what happened with Sega. They went from being a... They went from being in the console race to being a company that licensed their games to Nintendo. Combine the fact that Atari wasn't treating their employees well, and they started to leave the company to form their own companies, it's going to be a no-brainer that it would have eventually fell. But to end things off on a high note, our protagonist Howard seems to be better off after the ordeal, becoming a therapist with a successful business. Good for him. E.T. is a cautionary tale of what happens when a company forces developers to make a game under time constraints without giving them the proper time to lay out the, the game, story, or other features. Games are like cake. Even if you have all the right ingredients, taking it out of the oven too soon will result in something that doesn't taste or look right. I'm glad for the most part the gaming industry has learned from this and we won't have something like this again for a while. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Thank you all for so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe as this video took me a minute to make. And I'll see you all later. Alright everyone, 
Peace out.